Hi, this is John Brodett here with Roland Systems Group here in our technical support area. And today I wanted to show you a real practical difference between 444 video processing and 422. Now, what, what do those numbers really mean? Well, it really refers to color or chroma sampling, how color is sampled uh, within a particular video signal. And uh, the reason why compression even exists is to really make the data required, uh, the stream required, a little more compact, a little less bulky. So what uh, scientists are able to do is actually compress color in different ways that the eye couldn't really detect very well. So uh, in fact, our eye actually detects changes in brightness, uh, luma, in other words, much more readily than color. So usually we don't compress that part which is the first number of the four, but the other colors we can actually compress and get away with it, especially in the video world. Where you can't get away with it as readily is when you're using computer inputs. So today I want to show you some practical examples of how it really makes a difference in real life. Instead of showing charts and diagrams, uh, let's take a look at a test pattern as well as a real life uh, example from a spreadsheet. So the first pattern we have here is a 1920 by 1080 image and it is uh, got red green blue lines in sequence that um, are is very hard for chroma sampling to sort out what we've done is we've connected a little USB digital microscope here that's looking at the pixels uh, at about two three hundred times magnified and we're running that through the switcher again and we've actually put it into a pix uh, picture in picture. So you can see roughly here we've got the red, green, blue, red, green, blue nicely organized into lines. Now let's go, uh, and this is at 444, now let's go and change to a 422 processing. You do that in the system menu color space changing it to YCC. And when you do that you can see that the pattern changes significantly. You've got a mixture of red, green, um, some black, and then some some repeats, blue and green. There's not, not a lot of clarity there. So you can see quite dramatic. Let's go back one. This pattern versus this pattern. So let me pull up now a example of uh, from a spreadsheet. Here we have a spreadsheet with a blue red background and it's uh, currently running through at your typical 422 processing uh, from the computer. Uh, let me pull up the picture in picture again magnifying up that text. Uh, you can see uh, both uh, with the zoom up as well as with the microscope you can kind of make the numbers out but they're they're a little they're a little hard and um, hopefully it's coming through on the video here but you can you can definitely see a degrading of the numbers around that and that's because the color sampling is such where it can't really do that level of detail too well so let's switch to 422 and look at the difference here so now you see uh, a, a much greater clarity with no problem with all the numbers you can see all of the clarity around the edges and this is zoomed up high and if you're looking uh, with the naked eye right in here you'll be able to see that it's very sharp and just as clear as the white numbers are and you see that there's no problem with black and white uh, because it's all luma sampling which in the 422 space has no uh, degradation but as soon as you have blues and reds and greens then you get that problem unless you're running at 444. So there you have some examples that really show the difference between 444 and 422. I think the, the differences are quite dramatic. So if you are using computers in your productions, um, presentations, wherever they may, may be, the V800 really can pull out and show that difference. Not just with computers, but the whole output path can be produced at 444. So you can really see the clarity and color differences and, and, and brilliance that the, the, the detail can bring to a presentation. So if you have any more questions, uh, definitely give us a call and we can help you through with them. Thanks.